What's up guys? So we are in Athens. Liv is out on our balcony getting some sun right now. It is our last day. We leave in the morning, but I just wanted to sit down now. I've been getting a ton of requests on like how we planned our trip and what we did and the places we went. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know basically what we really loved and I would suggest to everyone and then the things that I wouldn't do again or things I would change a bit or anything like that so um and then I think I'm gonna throw in like the footage in between this me talking and stuff we've got into Athens I want to say around two and we were able to immediately check into our hotel which is the same hotel we're at now we stayed in the same one the first night in Athens and I actually really like it it's called I'm gonna link also like if I can find links I'm gonna try and link as much as I can first day in Athens we did the Acropolis and then we walked around this little area and um, our hotel lady whoever works downstairs recommended a restaurant to us and we did not make a reservation there but we just walked in and they had a time open people here like eat dinner later so we were kind of like before the rush which was nice but it was called mani mani i believe and this hotel is like yeah really good walking distance to everything so that's been like really important to us throughout the trip basically so after our, our one night in athens we took a ferry very early to Santorini. What's up guys? We are on our ferry from Athens to Santorini. And we departed at seven in the morning. It is almost noon. So we stopped at Sifnos and now we are at Eos and then we're going to Santarin. And then tomorrow we will be at. Um, no, not tomorrow. In two days, then we're going to Mykonos. I haven't really vlogged Athens because we were just kind of exhausted yesterday, but we went to see the um, Acropolis and then we got dinner and like walked around some little alleyways a bit. So it was a lot of fun. But um, yeah, I will vlog more from now on. And this is the first thing I would change about this trip because the ferry from Athens to Santorini, we did not realize, is five hours long. So it's like another flight. I mean, it's crazy. So I would recommend booking a flight from Athens to Santorini. It'll probably be like 40 minutes. It may be more expensive. I think we paid two or 300 euros total for three ferry trips for two people. So maybe it is a little more expensive, but so I guess if you don't mind the ferry thing, then go for it. We couldn't check in till later anyway so it kind of worked out well that our ferry got in a little later but whatever so i would do flights instead maybe ferry from like santorini to mykonos because that's not quite as far it was like two and a half three hours so our guy picked us up from the port in santorini which the port in santorini is like the complete opposite end of the island because santorini is kind of like shaped like a crescent maybe the other way i can't remember right now um so it was like a 45 minute drive to the actual place and they dropped us off at the post office because you can't drive any further than that because we stayed in Ia. And so we would, so then someone met us at the post office and picked up our luggage and took it to our Airbnb, which I will link below and I have linked on Instagram. Highly, highly suggest this Airbnb. It was a little more pricey, but Honestly, so worth it. Okay, we made it to Santorini. So I'm gonna give you the uh, apartment tour really quick. This is our Airbnb for a couple days. Liv, show us around. Welcome <laughs> to my crims. <laughs> oh God. So we have a fabulous bathroom with cement shower. Ooh, we get to shower. Ooh. <laughs> Heck yes, man. 
No bidet, unfortunately, but it's all right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll try to survive without it. <laughs> I don't know how to be. Cute little kitchenette. Mm-hmm. Love the pork. Wait, you're gonna skip the bedroom? <laughs> it. Sorry, no, it's not that crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. This is where the magic happens. Oh wait, our view from the bedroom actually is super oh, yeah. cute. Forget it. Except I thought this porch was ours, but this porch <laughs> is not ours. But the view is ours of the people who <laughs> whose porch it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but that's just a glimpse of our view right now. Let's just talk about that really quickly. A little living room. Yeah, they are. They're super They're comfy. Really firm. Look at that. She didn't even she didn't even sink. <laughs> These are delicious. We got um got our catamaran cruise planned for tomorrow. We're staying in I don't even know how to pronounce this, but that's where we're staying. Oh, yeah. We might go swim over here later and then we're taking our catamaran I think over here and then going over here somewhere or something. Red Beach, I think she said. There's yeah. a winery. That's oh yeah, a winery. <laughs> oh yeah, the Red Beach. That's what we wanted to go to. Okay, we're good. So, okay, yeah, oh, view. <laughs> this is our view, you guys. This is not real life. It can't be. Seriously, so beautiful. Are you kidding me? And then a little hot tub. Is it hot? I didn't no, even feel it's it. Actually oh, it's cold. like cold? It's really well, that's good. Nice. Go swimming. I can do lap. I'm so sad we're only here for two days, but I know. It's all right. Still blessed. Yeah, still blessed. So, so good. All right, I need to change. <laughs> yeah, right now. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is so nice. We're opening this. I guess this is like my. This is my first vlog. I vlogged on the butt on the boat, but I don't know if you could hear me. So I didn't vlog in Athens. I, we were really tired and I just didn't really feel like messing around with it. So, but all we did, we went to the Acropolis and then we explored and then we got dinner and then we passed out because this jet lag is getting to us. But then we took the ferry this morning at, woke up at five and got there, took off about seven, got to Santorini around what, it was like almost 1, 12 30. Yeah. So planning in advance, we might just buy, if you like are short on time, maybe just buy like a flight because it'd be so much shorter. But at the same time, we couldn't even check in until 2 p.m. anyway, so. And I hate lugging around suitcases and shit, so. All right, now I'm gonna change and enjoy some sun. First baby suit of the trip. My phone, we're playing music and taking pictures oh. and <laughs> talking to the camera. <laughs> Um, we were taking pictures and listening to music and my phone is on a charger case and they overheated. So the temperature, it like stopped. <laughs> so I'm putting it in the fridge so it can chill out. So hopefully yeah. that cools down soon. <laughs> so that first day, I think we just, oh no, we, as soon as we got there, we're planning on like walking around and eating and then as soon as we got there, we, just we're like in awe of our little balcony so we just put our suits on and just like hung out in a little pool and drank the wine they left us so that was so much fun and then we did shop around a bit and just like saw the little sites there's like little um it's all very walkable there as well so like everything is so close so many restaurants so many cute little shops and like those little like side streets that you can go and like see the view of like all the blue domes of santorini and just like those really pretty postcard views so we are getting lunch the view i think hopefully you can see lunch at five I see. yeah lunch at five, five. <laughs> But um, we wanted a smoothie bowl or like an acai bowl, but the place I found was like a really long walk and it's really hot. So we just so stopped at place. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'll show you what we are getting. Wow, that looks so good. I should have gotten that. That looks amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. But this is gonna be bomb. You guys, this is a joke. <laughs> This is a sick joke. This is a <laughs> this is most delicious, life, healthiest truly. looking meal ever, except the wine, but that's We're great. Eat it yeah. all. We're gonna
dinner that night at Pelicanos. How cute is this? It's a purse? Yeah. Look at those platform shoes. That's you, girl. With a little, little Asian, Asian baby that's, on it. That's me. <laughs> you too. I'm gonna get that. Oh, the <laughs> Hi. Just got back from dinner, Woo! and I totally forgot to show you guys what we got because I was too hungry. But we got I got seafood risotto, and Liv got some sea bass. And it was really good, and it's really pretty outside, so I'm gonna go out here. And our pool is lit up. Yeah, it's so pretty, Liv. Are you kidding me? You guys, this is a dream. It's so pretty oh, out here. This is a joke. In the pool. It's like that real. Not at all. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Watching John Laney eating lots of snacks. <laughs> and I know that was on your list. It was actually, it was so weird because like during the day, like the pool was like so refreshing and like cool, but not like too cold. And then at night it was like warm. So like it felt good to like get in, I don't know. It was really cool. We really liked that place. So the next morning we woke up, the Airbnb house literally had breakfast sent to us. Are you fucking kidding me? You guys, they just delivered us breakfast. First off, in this cute ass bag. Smoothies, local products, fresh juices. I don't even know what it is, but just look at this. There's juice? Fresh freaking orange oh my juice God, look at in this color. cute bottle. I know. That's fresh, look at that. You see the pulp flying around. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. Is that butter? Like it's unraveling. Mm. Or maybe it's yogurt. Oh, maybe. Oh, honey. Honey and jam. Homie. Cream cheese, maybe? Yeah. Honey and jam. Look at the color. You guys, are you kidding me? In love. It's cold. Like, this is incredible. Sammy? So sandwich. Uh -huh. Ooh, yum. Yeah, it's on it. It's the same. Okay, oh, yeah, so same there's same eggs sandwiches. Oh my gosh. Shut, Shut the, the fuck up. up. The baby croissants. Yes. Yup. <laughs> Eat this Love little baby bread. right now. <laughs> All the breads, you guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. How cute. Down um, the other way, like past our, to like the end end of the island. And there's like this little bay you can swim in. And... It was super, super blue, and like walking down these steps, it's it's a lot of steps, and I'm not gonna lie, my knees were a little bit. So we walked down those steps, and then we went swimming, and it's very rocky, it's not like a beach, but it was just very beautiful, and the water was so nice and so blue. So we swam around, and then we came back up, and we got ready, and our sunset sailing tour. This 
go chains. Secure. Ready, Ma? Ready? Okay, I'm going. Go. <laughs> How cold? Watch your hair tie. I got it. Is it cold? No, it actually feels really good. Really? <gasps> Not yet. It's still soaking. I'll so I'm gonna swim. No. This is just way faster than I thought. Feels really good. Oh my, it's so clear, Liv. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Red beach. Sorry, let's move on. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I don't we could do a sailing tour for one is like it has 45 people on the boat and it's like that's the cheapest option. It might have been like 95 a piece. And then there was one with 20 people on the boat, which was like 130 a piece, Euros. And then there was like a 14 person one for like one maybe fifty a piece or something like that. So more expensive, less people. We did the 20 person one, it was perfect like there was some couples there were a couple families um people from all over so it's really cool we had a really fun time if you only have two days you need to do the sailing tour it you can do it in the morning or the sunset highly recommend the sunset so that santorini was a dream truly a dream like i would have loved to stay there even longer and good morning beautiful people in the middle of curling my hair I'm not in Greece, but in San This view is just bad. So nice. So then we went to our Airbnb in Mykonos. We are at another Airbnb, but this one's like set up like a hotel ish. So we just have like a little, it's basically just like a hotel room and then cute little patio area. This is our last full day, unfortunately. Tomorrow we'll be able to hang out until two, and then we gotta go catch a ferry and head back to Athens and then take off in the morning. It went by so fast, but I know it would. I think today we, we need to go get breakfast, but I think we're gonna go lay down by the beach, I just showed you, and then, um, and then later we're gonna go downtown and we have a reservation in little, some people call it Little Italy, but our Airbnb girl called it Little Venice. So we're gonna go check it out. What we didn't realize about Mykonos, this is like the one part I would change, not going to Mykonos, but where we stayed in Mykonos. We were probably 20, 15, 20 minute drive to downtown Mykonos, which downtown Mykonos is much more walkable. They're, all the restaurants are down there. Little Venice is down there. Like, uh, like you can't even, in downtown Mykonos, you can't even drive a car. It's just all the little walking streets and um, shops and all that. So we were further away. We were off right like right above a beach so that was really nice to be really close to the beach and they had like somewhere you could rent jet skis and you could go tubing which i don't know if i would recommend tubing on salt water because that would probably really sting your eyes but anyways and there was a water taxi actually right there that could take you from the beach to downtown and we didn't end up doing that but it was there available to us and there was like a bunch of like clubs and like restaurants along the beach as well and there was um she told us that one of the most like renowned uh um nightclubs was to the um to the left of us so it was really close but the only problem with this and this is why i say i would never i wouldn't go back to this specific place it was very nice but we weren't really there to like party so i wasn't really interested in like the nightclub like if you're going with like a bunch of girls or something like that like that might be a really good idea and it might be really fun but that's not really what we were trying to do 
I'm trying to more like relax and just like enjoy the island and the beauty of the island and eat good food. But this place was very far from everything, so it wasn't really walking distance. The closest like restaurants I think were like or like good restaurants that everyone like was recommending were like a 20 minute walk and taxis are not easy to come by. We the next morning woke up, had breakfast, chilled, like it was just like a relaxing morning. Like we were just sitting by the pool eating our breakfast and almost like napping, like going to a little food coma. And then we went back to our room and put our suits out and chilled for a bit and then went down to the beach. And we hung out at Paradise Beach pretty for like a few hours. There was like little um little tiki umbrellas over all the chairs and you could pull them out if you wanted to be in the sun or pull it in more if you wanted to be in the shade. I was in the shade for most of the day and laid out for a little bit. And then you had to pay for those chairs. And then we headed up back to our room. Liv went swimming and said the water was absolutely beautiful. And we were thinking about renting a jet ski. We had talked about it the day before. And then that day we were kind of like, this is just a chill day. Like this is what we wanted to just relax and lay on the beach in the sun. We hadn't really done that. So we went to dinner in Little Venice at Costa's. I think it's, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. Casual dinner view. <laughs> Some lobster so orzo. I feel like I've had orzo 12 times on this yeah. trip, but it's so good. And then seafood linguine, yeah. which I am so excited and to those try. Those are not baby shrimps. <laughs> those are not baby shrimps. Those are some full <laughs> shrimps, and they don't have the heads on, so that's Hell even yeah. better. <laughs> that was amazing. I highly recommend that. We had the reservation, and even sitting in, we sat outside, and we were literally right by the water, so the sunset view was absolutely amazing. Like. It was kind of annoying because people, it's like on this little alleyway and people kept coming down to like see the sun. And um, it was fine, it wasn't too bad after the sun was like down. And um, we really liked that and then we walked around and shopped. Liv, walking around. Walking around. Walking around. Walking around. Walking around. Walking around Mykonos and we bought hundreds of dollars worth of jewelry at the first store we went into. So that's how it's going. But Greek jewelry is I wasn't going to get another bracelet, but look how pretty the eye is. I love it. Look how cute. It's, it's so cute. Everything. Why is this street like empty? All the other ones are like packed. So many cute stores. We got some t-shirts and jewelry. We're going to get dinner in Little Italy and it's so cute. I can't wait to show you. We were literally lost two seconds ago and then we turned a corner and... While we were waiting for our taxi, I got a text, or no, I got an email that said that our ferry from Mykonos to Athens had been canceled. Good morning, guys. So we actually had a beautiful night last night, as you saw, but quickly switched because we got an email that our ferry, all the ferries tomorrow were canceled and our flight back to, back to home is early tomorrow morning. And our ferry is supposed to be today. And then, so we, freaked out obviously because we have to get home because there are no ferries early enough the next day to get to Athens in time for our flight. So we had to buy flights, one-way flights to Athens from Mykonos for 300 euros each, which is really shitty, but we literally, like, we had no other choice. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be stranded in Mykonos, honestly, so. That's what we're doing. So our flight is early. We were gonna be able to like lay out and enjoy the day a bit, but our flight is at 11 and it's 8.30. So we're about to get picked up and 
I need to pay Chloe to move it. Enjoy this sunrise one more time. Liv said there were sheep over there this morning buying. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for everything, your support, your love, and I will see you 